क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव दिस क्वेश्चन इज फ्रॉम रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ डाटा द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ 150 फिफ्टी विलेजेस इन द यूके टू द नियरेस्ट हंड्रेड आर समराइज इन द टेबल फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल इन ग्रुप फॉर्म इज गिवन 150 फिफ्टी विलेजेस इन यूके दिस इज फ्रीक्वेंसी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन टेबल इन ग्रुप फॉर्म पॉपुलेशन नंबर ऑफ विलेजेस फर्स्ट इंटरवल इज 100 टू 800 हंड्रेड नंबर ऑफ विलेजेस एट पॉपुलेशन हंड्रेड टू एट हंड्रेड नंबर ऑफ विलेजेस एट नेक्स्ट इंटरवल इज नाइन हंड्रेड टू ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड पॉपुलेशन विलेजेस आर ट्वेल्व थर्टीन टू टू थाउजेंड विलेजेस फिफ्टी 2100 to 32 villages are 48 3300 to 4800 population villages are 32 this is a frequency distribution table this is a, these are the intervals and this is these are the frequencies frequencies are 8 12 50 48 32 Uh, first of this question is draw a histogram to represent this information. To draw the histogram, first we look through the data. First of all, we look uh, observe that if the data is continuous, the data is not continuous because 100 to 800. Then next is 900 to 1200, and next is 1300 to 200, and so on. So there will be a gap to draw the histogram. So remove to remove the Gap. We will take the boundaries. How we will uh, take the boundaries against each interval? Hundred and eight hundred. These are class limits. But we will take the boundaries against uh, of uh, each interval by subtracting and adding absolute error. Now, what is absolute error? Absolute error. Uh, absolute error half of the smallest unit half of the smallest unit smallest unit in the question is nearest 100 this means smallest unit in the question is 100 so half of the smallest unit we get 50 absolute error is 50 in the question so we will uh, subtract 50 from the lower class limit Uh, to find the lower class boundary and add 50 in the upper class limit and that is 800 we are adding, we will add 50 in this uh, upper class limit to find the upper class boundary so uh, first interval uh, the class boundaries for first interval are uh, this is the further construction in the frequency distribu distribution table We will write here the class boundaries of each interval. So next is class width of each interval. Next is frequency density. Uh, first of all, we have to um, observe that if the data is continuous, data is not continuous. So we will take boundaries, class boundaries against each interval, and uh, Next is uh, all the intervals are of not equal width. For example, class width of the first interval is 800, 100 to 800. Class width is 800. Next for the next interval, interval 900 to 1200. Class width is 400. For the next interval, class width is 800. For the interval 2100 to 32, class uh, class width is 1200, and the class width of the final interval is 1600. So, so first uh, uh, to draw the histogram, we will take the frequency density because the intervals are of not equal widths. So frequency density, how we will uh, find frequency density? This is formula for to find the frequency density. Frequency over class width. Frequency 
Pw mean class width. Frequency of class width, we will use this formula to find a frequency density against each interval. Frequency is 8, class width is 800. We get by dividing using this formula, we get 0 0.01, and the frequency density for the next interval is 12 over 400. Using this formula, we get 0 0.03, and the same way. 50 over 800 we get 0 0.0625 and uh, for the next interval uh, frequency is 48 and uh, class width is uh, 1200 we get 0 0.04 this is frequency density and next for the next interval uh, 32 over uh, 1600 1600 is the class width so, so we get 0 0.02 now we have completed this uh, graph and uh, this table to draw the histogram. Now we will take frequency density along uh, y axis and the interval along x axis us using a suitable scale. Now, according to the data, we are taking the scales uh, along x axis, we are taking one small scale is equal to 100 units and uh, along y axis. One uh, large scale, uh, we are taking uh, a 0 0.01, this is 0 0.02, 0 0.03, 0 0.04 and so on, according to the frequency density values. Now we draw the histogram, first interval is uh, 50, lower class boundary, now this is the lower, uh, lower class boundaries. Uh, lower, uh, this value is lower class boundary, 850 is upper class boundary. In the same way, 850 lower class boundary, 1250 is upper class boundary and so on. Class boundaries we have found against each interval. So, we are taking a suitable scale along x-axis and y-axis. We will draw a suitable um, uh, histogram. First interval is 50 to 850. First, these are the, uh, um, uh, this is the scale, uh, 0, this is 1000, next is 2000, next is 3000, 4000 and 5000 against the, uh, according to the uh, scale. Now, 50 to 850, first interval, 50 to 850, this value is 50. This is 850, uh, uh, frequency density is uh, 0 0.01, so we will make a rectangle. Uh, next interval is 850 uh, to 1250, frequency density is 0 0.03, 850 to 1250, this value is 850 uh, and this is 1250 and the frequency density is 0 0.03 for the next interval uh, that is 1250 to 2050 frequency density is 0 0.0625 1250 20, uh, 2050 uh, frequency density is 0 0.0625 this is this value uh, this uh, the, uh, reading is 0 0.06 and this is 0 0.07. So, if we take, uh, take the mid value of these two values, that is 0 0.0, uh, say, uh, 0 0.065. So, we will, we need a uh, uh, frequency density value 0 0.0625. So, so, mid value of this point 0 0.06, zero uh, six and the point 0 0.0650, the mid value of this will show the point 0625 so so we locate here this is the diagram for this is a rectangle for this interval okay next now for the next interval at 20 uh, 50 to 30 250 frequency density is 0 0.04 2050 is this uh, 30 250 is this against uh, it the frequency is uh, frequency density is 0 
four. So we are making this rectangle. For the last interval, uh, 32, uh, 50, and 48, 50. Frequency density is 0 0.02. 32, 50 is here. 48, 50 is here. Frequency density is 0 0.2. So we uh, make this rectangle. Next part B of this question is write down the class interval which contains the median for this information. Median will be the 50% uh, through the data. So to find the median, we will find the median. Median is Median is represented by Q2. So Q2 50% through the data mean 1 over 2 into uh, total numbers of uh, villages 150. So 1 over 2 into 150 we get. Seventy fifth value, seventy fifth value. <coughs> now we will uh, mm, uh, find the interval again. This seventy five, seventy uh, fifth value from the uh, frequency distribution table. This is the way to find uh, eight frequencies. Eight, eight plus twenty. That is uh, 8, plus, 8 plus 12, we will add these uh, frequencies, 8 plus 20, uh, 12, that is 20, 20 plus 50, that is 70, uh, 70 plus 48, this means uh, we get uh, the uh, required value, that, that is uh, 75, 75th value lie in this, mm, in this interval. So, so this interval 2100 to 32 is, uh, is a interval which, uh, in which the median lies. So, so we lie uh, right here. This is the interval in which the median lies 2050 to 3250. This is the uh, interval in which the median lies. Now, part C of this question is find the greatest possible value of the interquartile range for the populations of the 150 villages. Interquartile range, greatest value, greatest possible value of the interquartile range. We know that interquartile range is upper quartile minus lower quartile. This is uh, interquartile range. So, first uh, we will find the interval in which the lower quartile lies. In the same way, lower quartile will be the 25% uh, through the data means lower quartile, lower quartile One over four into one fifty because the number of villages, total number of villages are one fifty. The sum of these frequencies becomes uh, one fifty. So one over four into one fifty, we get thirty seven point thirty seven point fifth value. 37.5 value lie in the interval. Now go to the interval. 37.5 value lie in the interval 8 plus 12, 20, 20 plus 50, 70. So, so this values 37.5 value. 37.5 value lie in this interval. Twelve fifty two twenty fifty. So, we will write here, lower quartile lies in this interval,
to find upper quartile upper quartile is uh, of the data is 75% through the data so we uh, will find in this way 3 over 4 into 150 uh, we get uh, 112.5 value 112.5 value lie now we we'll look through this uh, interval in which this reading uh, lies 1112 plus uh, uh, 0.5 8 plus 12 20 plus 50 70 70 plus 48 70 plus 48 that is 11 8 so so this lies in this quadrant uh, in this uh, interval 20 uh, 2050 to 3250 so upper quartile lies in this interval Per quartile lies in this interval uh, 2050 to 3250. Now, from uh, th this is the interval in which uh, lower quartile lies in this interval, upper quartile lies uh, in this interval. So, we have to find uh, the greatest possible value of interquartile inter range. So, we will um, subtract lower uh, upper quartile by uh, we will subtract lower quartile from upper quartile. But we have to find the uh, since we have to find the greatest possible value of interquartile range. So, so, we will take the maximum value of uh, Q3 and minimum value of Q1. So, we may have a greatest value of the difference. The difference use the interquartile range. So, uh, we will take this maximum value and uh, of this interval and lowest value of this interval 1250 from here 3250. So, greatest value in, in, uh, interquartile range greatest interquartile range greatest. Uh, will be final value 3250 minus uh, 1250 uh, but sensible answer is this that uh, we are not taking this value uh, 3250 uh, this uh, this is the upper class boundary of this uh, interval uh, 3250 is not included uh, in this interval itself not included because there is no sign of equality here so we will take here from and from here we will take 3249 so from here we will take 1250 so we will subtract in to get the greatest value of uh, interquartile range that is 3249 minus 1250 finally we get 1999 this is the greatest value of the uh, interquartile range.